Hey guys, my name is Agent Poof and welcome back to another video on Skyblock. So the last video that I uploaded, I uploaded a video saying that a brand new spawner just got released. Well, this time a brand new season just started, which is season 15, which I am really, really excited to play. I already played a little bit of the server, as you can tell. Um, I've made a ton of progress. I've only been playing for like just today, by the way. So if I'm not super, super rich in like the past two days or the past almost two days that has that it has been out, then don't judge me. But yeah, they just released a ton of new updates on this server. One of them being that you can now play on 1.18 or higher for the versions of Minecraft. So you cannot play on 1.8 anymore on the server. You can only play on one point 18 which is actually amazing because now there are new opportunities for newer crops and everything like that for example beetroot which i will show you guys in a second beetroot is actually insane okay so first things first as you guys know they always decorate the spawn and make it a little bit different each season it is currently season 15 which that's a lot of seasons that's that's a lot anyway so let me go ahead and show you my island real quick so as you can see on my island i currently have mined everything i left another portal there in case you know um i get to level 100 on my island which let me check my island level it's level 70 so i'm kind of like 30 level 40 levels away so as you can see i am currently making a sugar uh, a sugarcane farm which if you guys don't know i always make a sugarcane farm because uh i like sugarcane and you guys know how it is no cane no gain so yeah i'm making a sugarcane farm right now i'm currently making it uh one two three four levels currently i might make it five uh and more in the bottom but yeah i'm trying to make it maybe like some cool design just to to make it a little bit cooler but so far that's this is what i have for the design of um of the sugarcane farm and i've also been working on slash challenges so if you guys look over here remember last season about slash challenges where if you do the more challenges you do the better rewards that you get and then you also get dragon spawners every time you level up in tiers so that is currently back i'm kind of i was working on beetroot because as you can see i've been mining like a ton of beetroot recently so i have thirty-two thousand beetroot already mined with this hard harvester hole right here and i've also been doing a little bit of fishing in case you can tell so i did a little bit of uh i caught some clown fish i caught some puffer fish i also caught some cod some some salmon and some junk as well which this is honestly in my opinion the hardest to do because well you barely get junk and as you can see about 0.60 percent of players has this challenge done which makes sense because this is honestly the hardest challenge i didn't do this one yet because obviously i can't access the portal to do lava fishing yet but anyways let's go to the task at hand so i want to show you guys a beetroot farm so it's not going to be my beetroot farm it's actually going to be somebody else's beetroot farm I, I think i'm saying it right right now beetroot sells for nine dollars a piece which is actually the most expensive thing in the shop next to pumpkins and packed ice but packed ice you get from spawners so i'm kind of not going to worry about uh packed ice and ice and all that type of stuff because those you you only get them from spawners and then these these are going to make you rich definitely but i'm just going to focus on the beetroot because so far early game right now you can actually use the beetroot to your advantage so i'm pretty sure the island name is slash is warp and then melon you go to this island and i suggest you do go to this island he's actually expanding it as we speak right now so that way it's bigger and he does have compost bins as well which if you don't know what compost bins are they make the area like they make a certain radius of the farm grow faster which which is actually good and it's actually better so basically i just come here and then i just go ahead and i farm obviously i make sure i have nothing in my inventory except for my harvester hoe and maybe food when i get hungry because obviously you get really hungry especially if you're if you're farming so yeah usually what i do is i just go ahead and i farm i keep farming until i get a full inventory full and i'm telling you guys a full inventory of this sells for i think nineteen thousand dollars which is actually insane nineteen thousand dollars is actually good enough to actually get you something decent plus uh the money that i get from here it actually helps me expand my island a little bit more so that, that way i can finish my farms and then i can get i can do a beetroot farm soon 
soon. What I'm worrying about too is about the compost bins because compost bins are actually very rare on this server. They're extremely rare and when you buy crates on the server like keys and all that there's a chance that you can get them there's a chance you, that you can get compost bins but it's a very rare chance so that means it's going to be extremely difficult to get compost bins so and plus there's not a lot of people that really want to sell compost bins i just don't i don't know why and on top of that what's good about this is that um if you have a premium hoe which is what i have right now you actually get level ups on your premium hoe which then you can go ahead and upgrade your premium hoe i already upgraded it okay guys so following from the last clip um so something happened and you know uh my i guess you can say that uh the video kind of corrupted so um i'm gonna just uh redo that part so basically what i was talking about i'm pretty sure i was talking about my harvester hoe which is basically like uh that i was actually doing all these upgrades so as you can see i did fortune three double drops to an experience boost i think that's four or five and the the reason why I did experience boost is so that, that way I can level up my harvester hoe or my premium hoe much faster than a normal hoe would do because honestly these are a pain to level up and also guys it's also been a few days as well since i've actually recorded um the last clip so i don't know give me a break okay but yeah so i was selling beetroot and currently i have three hundred and eighty thousand dollars. um i did a little bit of work on my island as well which is actually a good thing the island that i was on before i could not find that island anywhere so basically uh yeah i can't really farm beetroot right now also i did finish the sugarcane farm which um uh, well kind of i kind of finished the sugarcane farm a little bit which like it, it looks really insane right and i also made a grinder up here so in case you guys do not know uh before in the last clip i did not have this well now i do um, I have like three dragon spawners so far placed here, which is a good thing, but it's not really going to make me a ton of money yet um, because as you can see, I'm only getting dragon heads and I got to fill this whole area with hoppers and I got to upgrade my island level. It's a lot guys, you see? So yeah, they do die by fall damage as well, which is actually a good thing. I actually want their new spawner, which is I think a bee spawner. So yeah, I'm gonna have to work on that. All right guys, but I'm gonna end off this episode off here. If you guys did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you guys are new. And um, yeah, next episode, trust me, uh, we will be rich, okay? We will.